safety. Fire. It's good to know about fire safety. Fire safety. Attention station personnel. There is a visitor at the front door. Hey guys, come on in. October is National Fire Prevention Month. So every year we usually come to your schools and we teach you guys about fire safety. This year we couldn't come to your school. So we wanted to walk you through our fire station and show you where we stay for 24 hours when we're at work. We're gonna show you first downstairs, uh, we have our kitchen, uh, our dining room basically, and our day room where we get to spend some downtime. Hey Flash, you have those uh, TPS reports done yet? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's start the tour. So we're gonna go into our kitchen now, uh, which is where we spend a lot of time during the day. We cook all of our meals. Um, we hang out here in the mornings while we're cleaning the station, getting everything ready to go. And as we walk through, we're gonna see a few things that are different, such as the three refrigerators and three pantries. And that's a little bit different than what you'd have at your house because we split our year in a third. So we work 24 hour shifts. So we stay here all night. Um, so we cook all of our meals uh, like Flash over here. Flash, what are you cooking? Cooking donuts. I don't think that's why you do that. Yeah. Flash, remember when you're cooking anything, you always want to turn the handles in so that you don't flip it out and burn yourself or burn somebody that's coming underneath it. That's a good idea. All right. So after the kitchen, we're going to move our way into where we eat all of our meals. We watch our cartoons in the morning. Uh, we solve all the world's problems. Um, this is our dining room. It's a lot like your dining room, just maybe a little bit bigger because uh, we have quite a few people here. We have five people at this station every single day. Uh, after this room, we walk into our day room. And the day room is where we get to spend some downtime at the end of the day. If we don't have uh, work or we're not running calls, uh, we can come in here, we can watch TV, we can practice our ukulele, um, and just spend some downtime. So next we'll go out to the apparatus bay uh, where we have all the fire trucks and all the equipment. On the way out there, we have a few things that we can look at. The first thing that we'll look at here is our computer um, screen, and this is our computer-aided dispatch system. So this shows us where all the equipment is, and it also shows us uh, all the calls that are going out, um, so we know where we're going. And the a second way to help us know where we're going is our rip and run. And you can see that this has all the calls that have gone out and gives us the address to the calls uh, that we're going to. Not address, address, like a, a house. Oh. So you can see, I guess Flash is already in here. This is our EMS inventory. Uh, so he's in here inventorying for our Sunday check. Yeah. Yep. And the next room on the way out, we'll see, is our storage room. And in our storage room, we just keep some uh, cleaning stuff and, and supplies. But uh, this would be a good place if there was a storm coming through or bad weather that you could go uh, to be safer um, than just being out in your house. So this is uh, the door right here that'll take us out in the apparatus bay. This is our bay. So this is where we have all of our equipment. We have at this station two fire trucks, two ambulances, and a command staff vehicle that would go to like, any big uh, structure fire or any big incident that has more than just Germantown. Um, that would be able to go. So as we come around this side, we're going to see um, our ambulance that we have in the station. And we're going to go up to the front of the fire truck and we can see uh, where the driver would sit and where uh, everybody else would sit uh, if we were responding to calls. So it looks like Flash has already beat us up here as usual. Yep. Uh, you got your seatbelt on? Getting it right now. So we of course always put our seatbelts on when we're going to calls. Um, and that would be the driver's seat of the fire truck and we can look in the back and see where everybody else would sit. Uh, so you can see here uh, people already have their gear back here, and we have all of our equipment that we would need to uh, go into a fire. So over here, we'll see that there's one of our ambulances, um, and the we'll, front seat is pretty much similar to the fire truck. And if you look here in the back, I think Flash, of course, beat us here already. Uh, Got to make sure everything's checked off. And from the ambulance, we're going to come around and go up the other set of stairs and we'll see the weight room and the individual bedroom. So that's where we sleep 
uh, at night when we're not making calls. So we'll come around this side. We'll see uh, some spare fire trucks that we have uh, in our command vehicle. And our command vehicle is for any kind of big incident. Uh, we can put our staff in there and they can run the call from uh, this truck on the scene. And then we'll come around the front of it and we'll go up the stairs and we'll see the weight room. One eternity later. All right, let's go in the weight room in here. Uh, it looks like Flash is already up here. Uh, I think he's trying to jump rope, but uh, this is how you jump rope, right? I don't think that's how you do it, buddy. But no. This is uh, where we would be able to work out during the day if we had some time. Um, we also, at the end of the hall down here, we have our, uh, whoa, buddy, hold on. Hold on, that might be too heavy for you. Let's just, uh, let's just go show these guys some uh, bedrooms. That's our lieutenant's office down there. So this way we will see the uh, bedrooms and how they're set up. And remember, we spend 24 hours a day here, so we sleep here. And it looks like Flash is already set up with his uh, blanket and everything, watching TV. But this is where we go at night when uh, the day's over and we're all ready to go to bed. So this is a good time to talk about one of the things that we always hit on every year, and that's exit drills in the home. So you can see that we're on the second story of the fire station, so we have to make sure that even us, uh, we want to be prepared for a fire or for something to happen. If we have to get out of this room and we have to uh, get out of the building, we have a couple of different ways to do that. I think Flash is probably already out there, as usual, and he'll show us uh, one of the ways that we can get out of the room. Go ahead, Flash. Good job, Flash. Go to our meeting place. Uh, Flash is, of course, talking about our meeting place. So anytime that we get out of the house, if there's a fire or smoke or something going on, we always want to go to a meeting place, which would be uh, like a mailbox or something right out in front of the house where we're away from the house and we never want to go back in. So we're going to take the stairs, which is a much easier way to get down. Uh, and we'll go to our training room and we'll show you guys where we do all of our classroom stuff, just like you guys. We have to study and take tests and take classes all year. So this is our training room, uh, and this would be through this door. You can see where we would uh, be in class for a lot of time. Uh, so it looks like we're down here, and we just made it in time to watch this year's safety video for Fire Prevention Week. Nine one one, nine one one. The number two call is nine one one. Nine one one. The number two call is 911. Always be prepared in case of a fire emergency. The best way to practice fire safety is to be prepared Cause there's a possibility you might find yourself in an emergency You wanna be ready Things like Check your smoke detectors and replace your batteries Be ready if there's a fire to get out and stay out Draw up an escape plan with your family and agree on a meeting place outside your house. Memorize the number to call in an emergency. 911. 911. 911. The number two call is 911. 911. 911. The number two call is 911. If your clothes are ever on fire, stop, drop, and roll. If your clothes are on fire and you're losing control, just stay calm and remember three things. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop. Now drop. Now roll back and forth on the ground until all the flames go out. 911. 911. The number two call is 911. 911. 911. The number two call is 911. Don't ever play with dangerous hot things that are meant for adults. Let's pretend that you walk into your kitchen, a very common location. But you better watch out because all around you are very hot temptations. If you see matches, don't touch. Candles and lighters, don't touch. If you see a hot stove, don't touch. 
playing with these could hurt you so much. 911, 911, the number two call is 911. 911, 911, the number two call is 911. Firefighters are always there to help. Don't ever hide from a firefighter. An important little thing we must discuss. Firefighters are people you can trust. They might look scary with their mask and gear, but they're coming to save you. Is that clear? They're looking to help. Never to scare, so if they're looking for you, show them you're there. Help, I'm over here. 911, 911, the number two call is 911. 911. The number two call is 911. And that's it. Uh, I'm glad everybody got to join us. Uh, hate that we didn't get to come see you, but I'm glad that you guys got to see our station and see where we stay for 24 hours when we're on shift. Thanks.